for the PowerPoint project, I chose the first case problem to do, the one about type 2 diabetes. A quick run through of the slideshow. I basically took the approach of define what diabetes is, what leads to contracting it, the dietary <coughs> dietary plan of foods to eat, foods to avoid, sample diet, and a question slide asking for any questions with contact information for the person providing the slide as well as a example website. This slide shows a little bit longer than I remember it being, so let's just speed through the last bit of this. Okay, for the first slide I did not use any animations. Since it's the title slide, I want it to just simply be a starting screen that can be left up in preparation for the presentation. I use animations on click for most of the main points. That way they could the speaker could pause, discuss any topics they want to speak about before moving on, and aren't constrained by the animation timing of the presentation. For example, the what leads to contracting type 2, it will not advance past weight after, before clicking. It will show weight, the risk factors, and then will not advance to inactivity until the next click. Same for advancing to genetics, age, etc, etc, etc. The same goes for proper diet, good foods and bad foods, sample diet, and all other list-based slides. I stuck to a very few limited amount of animations to keep things consistent and not to detract from the presentation and speech speaker itself through using overly flamboyant and varied animations. Uh, what really helped me the most in terms of the PowerPoint presentation construction process was the varied amount of slide templates available as well as the indented lists you could use, since most of the presentation is a list or comparison basis, <clears throat> it's on a list or comparison basis of listing effects, listing good foods, bad foods, sample diets, everything that can be broken down into different segments, and main points to be called out. <clears throat> I really didn't find much use for pictures or videos with this particular project, though it was an option that could be used. Um, I mostly stuck more towards a outline format where most of the attention be drawn to the speaker rather than the presentation itself, and the presentation is more used as a highlight tool to solidify the point, the key factors and key points of the presentation. 